Good morning, this is Todd Connors coming to you from uh, Hopkinton, Mass. We are starting a Cold in Place job today. This will be the second year uh, for Cold in Place here in Hopkinton. We we'll do a mix of residential streets and commercial streets. Today we're on Daniel Shays Road, which is a residential neighborhood. So when we begin a project like this and the town selects some candidates for road review, we first identify all the distresses and make sure that this is a good candidate for our treatment. Once that's done, the next stage of the process is to core and do a mix design. The coring is important because we want to make sure there's sufficient depth of asphalt. We also want to make sure that the aggregate and the liquid AC is sufficient for the process. The mix design looks at all those things and comes back with the perfect recipe for this individual road it informs us as to how much additional liquid asphalt we need to foam into the process. It informs us on how much Portland cement we need to add to the process. And so here we are on site. Our mix design is done, our coring is done, and we're ready to get started. Prep work for this project uh, involves removing all the castings. That has been done, and we're here today. We're ready to rock and roll. Well, thank you for that, Todd. Uh, great explanation of how this is an engineered process and all the preliminary steps that have to occur. Now that we are out here in the field, uh, this project, they cannot raise the elevation of the road. So the first step is to uh, do a pre-milling operation. And as you can see here, we do a, a gutter pass and remove material uh, so that when we do the recycling, we'll actually lower the elevation of the road. So when the town comes in and puts on their inch and a half uh, wearing surface, all the driveway elevations will remain the same. And here is step two in the process. Um, most mixed designs come back with about a 1% Portland cement additive. And here you can see uh, the drop spreader uh, is putting down that 1% of Portland cement. So now we are in step three of the process. And as you can see here, uh, the first vehicle in this, what we call a train, is the water truck. Now, unlike the emulsion version of this process, uh, this is a foamed asphalt version, so the water is strictly used just in the drum to help with the foaming action uh, of the PG binder, which that is the second vehicle you see here in the train. 100% uh, PG binder liquid asphalt that's used as the additive uh, that goes through into the drum of the recycler, which you can see is the next piece of equipment. Uh, that's where the drum of the recycler grinds up the existing asphalt. Typically a grind is anywhere between three and five, five and a half inches. Uh, it injects that new liquid asphalt, and it forms basically your new binder. Uh, that, that material then, after it's um, treated, is put into the paver, and it's immediately put down with the paving machine. And from that point on, it's basically a, a, a paving operation. Uh, so you have a, your typical paving machine along with a series of rollers. Begins. Uh, the first roller is a uh, steel drum uh, capable of both vibratory and oscillatory rolling. And then behind that, you can see uh, up the road a little bit, is our uh, rubber uh, tire roller. And that's basically the finished roller. Um, and then the final step after that roller gets done, uh, meeting our 95% minimum compaction, uh, the fog, there will be a, a fog seal installed uh, onto the material. Fog seal does a couple of things. One, it holds all the fines together until the wearing surface can be put on. Here in Hopkinton, they are doing an inch and a half uh, hot, hot mix uh, wearing surface. And then number two, it also helps uh, if we get rain between now and the wearing surface installation, it helps keep the water off and uh, off the uh, material and keep it out of the cold in place recycling. And here is uh, part of the quality control uh, program. We have um, a subcontractor here doing uh, testing for us, uh, density testing, uh, and that happens at different intervals to make sure that we're meeting our 95% compaction. So that's going to wrap it up for us today here in Hopkinton, Massachusetts. Uh, if you'd like to see this process in action, please feel free to reach out and uh, we can coordinate a time uh, out here to meet you. Or if uh, there's another suitable location closer to you, uh, please reach out and we can find a time and day uh, that uh, it works in your schedule. Um, I'm going to close with this same working machine that you see here is also capable of doing SFDR, uh, Stabilized Full Depth Reclamation, uh, which is much less disruptive than your normal FDR that you may have seen because it's paper placed. So again, same operation, it's ground up, it's put into the paver, it's put right back down. It will just go in a little bit deeper with that process. And if you'd like to learn more about that process, please feel free to contact us and we'll set up a time uh, to show you a little bit more about that. Have a great day.